It's the Social Media Super Summit with Beth Bridges, Ted R. Ruiz, and your keynote speaker, Frank J. Kenny. So would you welcome, please, the generous producer of our event today, Ted Ruiz, owner of Ad Video Productions. Welcome, everybody. I do want to say, Frank, you did a great job, and you totally are a excellent speaker. I am not a speaker or a presenter. I am a video guy behind the camera most of the time, but I am very passionate about the tools we use to communicate with the world. So thank you all for coming to the Social Media Super Summit. I'm gonna give you some um, critical information on why incorporating video in your marketing is so important. Did you guys know that YouTube is the second most used search engine in the world? Has anyone used YouTube to research anything in the last 30 days? Excellent, that's kind of what I thought. Brief story, my dad came over the other day and he told my wife and I, he said, you know, Ted, I just can't hard boil eggs like your mom used to. And, uh, oh, excuse me, didn't expect that. Um, so anyway, so I said, well, let's go on the computer. And, I typed in on YouTube, how to hard boil eggs. I got 75,000 results. My dad's like, what is this machine? He just totally freaked out. Um, but that goes to show. So we, we took that information, we actually watched a few and found the reinforcement and we typed it out for him so he now has it on his fridge. Wikipedia describes social media this way. Social media refers to the interaction among people in which they create, share, and exchange information. And nothing does this better than video to convey your message. Frank paralleled a lot of things as I'm standing back there listening um, to reinforce what I'm gonna give you today. But here's some compelling evidence that I've collected over the last month to share with you guys. In the past month, over 200 million video, I'm sorry, 200 billion videos with a B have been viewed online just in the last month. 80% of internet users recall watching a video advertisement on a website that they visited the last 30 days. Visitors who watch a video are reported to stay on your website twice as long. Holding those people on your website is important. People are 64% more likely to buy a product or service after watching a video, and 52% of consumers say that watching a product video makes them more confident in their online purchase decisions. Um, one of my prior employees, also named Matt, I've had three Matts now, one of my uh, prior employees, Matt, he's been gone about two years, and he called me about two months ago, and he said, he lives up in the Bay Area, that's why he left, he wanted to move up to the Bay Area, and he said, uh, Ted, I'm working at Walmart. I'm thinking this very brilliant movie maker guy working at Walmart, but it was great because he told me, he said, you know what I'm doing all day, and I said, Checking people out? <laughs> Greeting people at the door? Matt, I don't know, what are you doing? He's, every morning, he gets another product off the shelf, and he creates a video about that product. It might be a food processor, it might be a kid's toy, but people know that these large companies know if you have a short video about the product, you hit the website and it says, play video you're a lot more likely to engage, buy, and close a deal. Um, as Frank mentioned, with TV advertising, and I know there's some advertising agencies here, so 
But with traditional TV advertising, by the way, I've been, I worked in broadcast, started in 1976. Like Yvonne said, I am as old as dirt. But this has been my livelihood. Oh, thank you, LaDonna shakes her head no. I, I, need that, I needed that, those friends in the audience. You are right. <laughs> but, but um, you know, I've watched the transition in television advertising while still good and effective for a lot of people. So those agencies in here don't, you know, write me off now. But you spent thousands of dollars and you hoped someone bought it. And it's very hard to track results. You might put a specific phone number um, and hopefully they called that number so you know which TV station uh, they saw it on. But with online video, you can track how many people watched your video. You can see who watched your video, male, female, age groups. You can see how long they watched the video and what they did after watching the video. Did they click further on your website? Did they buy a product, whatever? And I do wanna say, just creating a video and throwing it at people is not what this strategy is about. Uh, there might be some benefit to throwing out a video and saying, you know, buy my stuff now or I'm the greatest. But the key is, as Frank demonstrated, is the story. It's what value you bring to the person when they watch your video. Your video message needs to deliver value in some way. I've given you about five reasons um, why you should use video. I'm gonna give you 10 practical ways to use video in your strategy. Um, I won't set it up, I, let me ask this. How many of you currently use any kind of email marketing at all? Wow, still a, a good number. Okay. Um, Matt, go ahead and play the e-video. In the next 15 seconds, you'll learn how to reach your customers and audience with no costs for TV, radio, print, or billboards. Adventure Video brings you the ability to put your message in front of thousands of people and airing your video is free. You can have customers calling you today. Nothing is simpler than this method, and Adventure Video is the only local company bringing it to you. Wow, only 14 seconds? Are you interested? If you watch this video, then you understand the benefits of what Adventure Video is offering you. To further help local businesses, the first 10 people to call and mention this e-video will receive a free bonus when creating their message. Call us to take advantage of our exclusive services and get those new customers calling you immediately. Adventure Video offers solutions to their clients, helping them reach more people for less money. And this process is brought to you exclusively by Adventure Video. Oh, and one more thing. The owner of Adventure Video has been part of the traditional media for decades. He is not trying to make you abandon traditional media, but simply trying to bring you this new method to add more customers today and cheaply. Give us a call to find out more. Thanks, and we wish you all the best. We, um, about 2009, when the recession hit everybody really hard, um, it hit us for the first time in 12 years of owning the business at that point. Phones stopped ringing, we weren't that busy. I mean, a lot of companies were folding, businesses going under, downsizing, and everyone's marketing budget shrunk. Um, so constant contact became big. I was going to some of those workshops about using email. And so I'm, I'm trying to strategize. I went to SCORE and SBA, trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. And on about the second workshop, it dawned on me, I'm not doing anything different or wrong. It's the economy is failing me, so I had to get more creative. So typical, um, went to bed about three o'clock in the morning, I woke up, set up in bed, ran out to the living room, got on my computer, because I was inspired again. I get inspired like that, and I'm like, I can't sleep, so I sat down and knocked out some information, knowing that video closes sales, video causes more interaction. So I tied this constant contact concept with the use of video, I call them e-videos, and we started promoting that. Um, we literally, I say that video probably saved my company. We created this video here, I, uh, that's Michael Macias, he used to have a small marketing company. He gave me a dirty email list, what I'm gonna call dirty. 
The reason I say that, it wasn't nasty, it was just dirty, it was uh, not vetted. And I know that because I got a lot of, no longer at this email, you know, bounce backs, I got a lot of government agencies and schools, people that weren't my target demographic. But from that one video we sent out at 10.30 in the morning, because that was you know, constant context, so that's when you send it out on a Tuesday. We sent that out and I got 19 email replies in fact, I, at 3 o'clock, I told my guy, I said, hey, you grab the calls. i got to tabulate where this is coming from. Um, I had only one guy at the time. I've now got two back there <clears throat> and a whole bunch of freelancers. But, um, but we, out of that one email, I got 19 email replies, seven calls, people wanting to find out more what this was about, and eight calls from people wanting to come in and talk to us about doing that for them. That was more response than I probably had in six months. I got from 10.30 till 3 p.m. From that, the residual kept me going for another six months. That was huge. I mean, that was the only marketing I've ever really done. Um, and then at typical small business, I'm sitting there knocking out work. I was doing all the work myself mostly. And at the end of that six months, it started trickling. I look at my calendar. I had no more work. I'm going, wow, what do I do? So I sent the exact same email to the exact same dirty list, kept me going for three more months. It's a very small effort to get nine months worth of revenue and, and kept our doors open. Out of that, we've gradually rebuilt. We've worked on new ways to reach people and help companies deliver their stuff. As Beth knows, we've worked a lot with the Chamber. We've donated a lot of videos to help companies stay open. We've discounted a lot of our services to help companies stay open. As the economy is getting better, all that is coming back and, and it's, it's working great for us. So number two, ways to use video. Sorry I got off on that because I, I, that's just a fabulous story and it really did save my business. <laughs> um, show behind the scenes at your company. You can show um, how you do something, uh, who does it at your company. Every one of you are gonna possibly use these different, but just frequently, you don't have to do it like as often as Beth, but once a week, throw out a video, something kind of new. Product tours are fun. Um, depending on your business, I have a friend that works for a packaging company. At Christmas time, it was genius. At Christmas time, they created a video showing Santa's gifts going down the packaging processing line. They also did another version which were not naughty Santa gifts, and they gave that to a select few clients. <laughs> But it was phenomenal, the hits, the results were great, the feedback was great. Like Frank says, people engaged and commented on it. Um, another facet, whether you use Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and I, I may differ with Frank a little bit, the average small business here only has so many waking hours in a day, as I was talking to Kirk earlier. It's like, you know, most of our time to step away from the business and get social, is I call it 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's when um, most of us can step away from our business. So I don't want you to spread yourself out too thin and do it all poorly. I would rather you focus on one or two things at a time. But it's easy to stay in front of your clients um, using social media. I've got another video sample. I'm gonna show you about four different videos just so you have an idea what kind of things can go out there. Um, this is a short video we posted on Facebook shortly after the first of this year, and this helped jumpstart our year. Out of that came more calls again, got us in front of more people. Go ahead, Matt, and play that one. It's a tough business climate right now. Here are some survival tips. People are 85% more likely to purchase your product or service after watching a video. People spend twice as much time on a website that has video. There's up to a 300% increase in click-through rates when you link a video in an email. 46% of people took action after viewing an online video. A one-minute video is worth 1.8 million words. These are just some of the reasons why people should use video on their website, social media, email, and other marketing efforts. Video is more important than ever to a business's survival. And AdVenture Video has been pioneering the latest technology and trends of using video for business. So call us. We, we do video. <laughs> 
But in other words, that the response was that from that was great. People stay informed. And it's amazing, another thing on social media, um, how many people, my wife says she's from Oregon. I have a long time, I was born in Fowler. At seven years old, we migrated all the way north to Fresno. Um, so I know a lot of people, but I'm blown away how many people, how many people come up and say, oh my God, I saw this and I saw that, and I'm like, but I never have seen them like or comment on any of our posts. Did any of you run into that? Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. What I tell people is, you know, not every time, you don't have to go comment on everything, and I'm not looking for gratification that, to get 20, 30 likes, but it's nice to know you're out there. Keep that in mind, people. You know, respond once in a while, even a like on someone's page, because that also puts you higher visibility in theirs too. Let them know you're out there. Um, you might have noticed one thing I didn't mention on the e-video. It was great because I knew about a minute and 15 seconds in, it was about a three minute video. Back in 2009, three, three and a half minutes was fine. But I noticed about a minute, minute and 15 seconds in, <clears throat> a couple people coughing and shifting. Don't throw out a five minute video about how great you are. No one is gonna watch that anymore. On social media, typically, if it's 57 seconds or under, you might get someone to watch. If it's a minute and 22 minutes, how many of you would not even start watching a video if it's three minutes? Yeah, so they see none of your great story. Keep them short. I don't know about the six second video trend, pros and cons to that, but yeah, definitely keep it shorter. The other thing, number five, I want you guys to have a good time. Um, everyone likes to be entertained. People love fun videos. That's how you get, that's why these big brands are connecting with some of these kid videos that are, are fun, because people will sit and watch that. Um, six, company updates. It could be a, a new hire that you brought in. It could be a job opening, uh, some new equipment that you want people to know about. But company updates can be put out there every week, at least every month. People should see what's going on. Um, in my world, I work really hard all year. I mean, I'm going 24 seven, except I like to take a lot of time off. Some of you may know this. A lot. <laughs> I like to take a, uh, as much time as possible between August and the end of October. And I'm up in the hills. I just wanna be out of the city. But when I get back, I need to get my pipeline filled with work. I'm, I'm fortunate, actually, about a year ago, we brought in more people to actually turn the wheel for me, and I'm out working with people a little bit more, um, but that also allows me to get away. But I need to fill that pipeline. One way to fill the pipeline, a t tactic we use, and I've actually used the same video twice when I got back, so you may see it again in October of next year. But when I get back, uh, this is a, a fun update video. We use some of our little magic stuff to have fun, but let's go ahead and watch this one and see if you, how many tricks you can find in the video. Some of you may have noticed that I've been mostly absent for a few months, but I'm coming down from the hills with a renewed energy and some awesome new tools to help businesses beat this recession. Adventure Video has stayed up and running, serving the clients by the capable hands of our Adventure Video crew. But as of November 1st, I'll be back, taking your calls just like the Ted you've always known. So whether you are looking for new customers or wanting to knock it out of the park with some dynamite videos, Adventure Video continues to bring you the newest technologies and techniques to get your message in front of more people and more affordably. We're not monkeying around. Stay tuned to see what we're up to next. Th that, thank you. Th that helps get a lot of people talking. There's people that share that video when it shows. But it's just a fun way to say, hey, I'm back. I'm, I'm ready to take on your, your projects. And the phones do. The, the phones light up after releasing something like that. Another way, the number seven, uh, that you guys may be able to use some video is find key influencers in your industry. Um, an example is if you're a drip irrigation company, 
you might get the president of the Farm Bureau to talk about a, um, the water crisis, get the mayor to talk about a water crisis, because when you use a key influencer that 7,000 people know, that brings a lot of prestige to, to your business. Um, another way is news segments. I, I've, last night I was doing some more homework on, on this, and um, I, I was thrilled to see people, companies that had been on the news for one reason or another, on their website is that news story. Because people will watch it, it brings up your level of, of importance in the community. Um, so, you know, copy and uh, post that to your, your website or social media because that's something that you will want to use. Um, number nine, we're almost through this. Number nine is probably my second favorite testimonials. And Frank touched bases on that. But definitely l let your customers brag on you, don't say how good you are. Let your customers, if you have a handful of customers that love you, that you've gone out of the way and you've serviced real well, let them um, brag on you. Here's a testimonial video that we did, um, actually not long after the recession started. How I found Adventure is I asked three people I trust in town. I said, who's the best? Ted. First thing out of their mouth, two seconds, Ted. I go, I gotta be Ted. And you know what, ever since then, who's the best? Ted. What I enjoyed most about working with Adventure Video was their professionalism, their organization, and their ability to get a quality video out at a reasonable price and in a reasonable time. I think Adventure Video's major strengths are the professionalism and the experience behind the people that are working there. Um, the positive attitude, uh, the creativity, and knowing what to do with the equipment they have. That production works in Los Angeles, Fresno, Palm Springs. I find adventure video right here at home, accessible, professional, and as good as anything we've ever used. Now, I'm actually embarrassed to stand here and let my customers talk like that about us. Someone Googles video production in Fresno and they see that at their home, that's cool. I'm okay with that. This is just kind of awkward for me to sit here. And actually, Kathy Seegers is in the audience. She's one of our, our number one fans. Appreciate your loyalty in business for the last 12 years. Yeah. Um, starting a new camp. Uh, actually, yeah, we were freelancing for her way back in the day. Um, the last video that I'll use to cover for today is something every company um, with a website should pay attention to. This is probably, and, and I'd, I'd love to see if, if Frank co covers this and concurs. I think the number one thing, if you have a website for your company, you need to have a couple video modules um, on your website. Uh, a couple examples. Um, um, Tony Kimiente, small insurance company in Visalia, he, very smart person, uh, very aggressive with his work, but he wanted to grow. And he started using a little bit social media, but he started using video to tell the story of the different things he was doing. He came in, he did six videos. He put them out there, he got fairly good response. He came in, he did 10 more videos. He got good response. He's done over 100 video modules specifically targeted at certain uh, topics of his industry. I got, right at Christmas time, it was great. I got an email from him with some pictures. He just bought a house uh, in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, on the lake, beautiful house. Um, he has grown, he still operates his Visalia business, but he has um, Aflac and Fidelity Insurance trying to gobble him up and give him exclusive things because how he marketed his business and how effective it was. Um, the last client, I will mention that um, uh, she's a family law attorney, and I went to her site last night. She's done 15 videos in two sessions. She came, she did uh, about six or seven the first time, and then the, uh, filled up the other 15 on the second one. And she uses it very specifically. In other words, if someone at 10 o'clock at night Googles child custody, she's going to be found because she has a video talking about child custody. 
about restraining order, about uh, different parts of family law. And what I really liked was a couple of the videos she did, what I really liked were information pieces, people that are going through a desperate time in their life. She talked about how not to destroy your kids through a divorce. Several of her videos are just good information pieces. So when people at 10 o'clock at night Google and they find her online, who are they gonna call in the morning? They're gonna call the person that talked to them, that gave them good information. So these are some tips for you, and I don't want you guys to think that you need to go out this week and apply all of these to your business, because every business is gonna be a little different. Um, don't think you need to you know, kill yourself trying to uh, put out a new video every day like Beth does. Do you do every day? No. About three or four weeks. Okay, perfect. You don't need to do that many, but the information is good. And, but the one thing I can pretty solidly say, I don't think there's one business in here that could not use some of these tips on using video for their website, social media, or other uses. Um, the big point today was to inspire everybody. I attend a lot of these workshops, a lot of you attend a lot of these workshops. The beauty is don't try and overload yourself and get busy right away, but you need to stay inspired. Here are some tips. You might have known 90% of what you heard today, but it will inspire you to apply or reapply some of these. So. Um, Go out, start making some simple videos, post them on your social media, um, and watch your customer interaction. Um, obviously, you guys can do them on your flip phone. A, lot of, a couple of you out there can do them internally. Um, if you need help implementing video, or if you want to produce a couple for your website, high-end videos, we'd be glad to help you with that as well. But start implementing video in your marketing strategy. Um, if you want some links to some of the resources that I get probably six to eight a day, different marketing social media things, if you want links, drop your information, uh, the, your card or something in the back, there's a box, and I will forward those. I don't give out paper handouts because I know, just like the flowers from the Hare Krishna people, <laughs> a lot of those will end up in the garbage on the way out or sitting on your car floorboard in three weeks. Um, but I will be glad to give you that information if you want to drop something in the box. And thank you for your time, and stay tuned for Beth next. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>